Hey! I'm really glad that I got to share this day with you kasi medyo meaningful siya for me. Once I stop accepting speaking engagement, nasira na. Come on, to her! I feel so rusty. Parang nangangalawang na ako. Hindi ako sanay. And I was really shocked. I'm just gonna get coffee. Makapadyama pa, guys. During my almost three-year hiatus, hiatus yun na hindi hiatus, I was thinking, dalawang bagay lang why God allowed it then. Number one, baka naman, it's not my time anymore. Kasi, di ba, I would always tell my team that it's not always going to be us. Hence, we're discipling the next generation, we're equipping other people, empowering others, because it's not always going to be us. And so, I was thinking, Lord, it could be either that, that maybe you're calling me to do other things, or... Second is maybe God is allowing me to go through all these things na hindi madali. So He could mold my character, develop me, remove things na dapat wala, pride, ego, etc. So He could actually use me in a greater way. So for the past three years, because I was asking and seeking those questions, I stopped accepting speaking engagements, ministry engagements. I stopped doing that. Kasi nga, I wanted to be sure kung ano na ba yung season ko. And also, syempre naman, I was also healing and processing a lot of things. But today, I'm actually sharing with you my first speaking engagement outside of JREV that I said yes to. This is what he wants me to do again. Same, but different. Aga mo namang mag-prop, girl. Come on, sugar! I was supposed to finish my presentation last night but David was missing from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. so hopefully I get to finish it before lunch para this afternoon chill lang and just prepare heart so body bonus for me for this trip was I was with my sister Vanch um, my long disciple and friend Precious and her husband Mark San Simon High School San Simon High School. San Simon High School. With fans, you know, for the longest time talaga, we would do these things together. She's really, really anointed. Uh, even if she had a special sangguni and meeting the day before, she drove talaga all the way to Pampanga. It's just so she could be with me, encourage me, cheerleader ko yan eh. Mark also, Precious Husband, was um, the one ministering to keyboard. Great team, I would say. And Precious was there really just, you know, um, organizing things and inaayos sa lahat. So, saya lang. When I was going through a hard time, alam mo, nakita ko yung totoo kong kaibig. Because I was really excited about meeting my good friends, Pastor Kim and Shea of HFCC. Hello! Siguro isa sa mga bonus of when you do this kind of work, this kind of ministry, you would get to meet a lot of people who would turn out to be kingdom friends, lifelong friends. And I said that because nung nagkikintuhan na kami after the event, sharing na kami bago maghiwalay, alam mo naman yung mga yan, ang hirap maghiwalay, tagal lang mga stations. Nang mag Pastor Kim, sabi niya, oh, nakita ko nga eh. Oh, nagpipreach na ulit si Jess kasi, di ba, nagpunta kayo sa Baguio, sabi niya, ng mga youth leaders niyo. And I was really shocked. Ang layo nga nila, but they are genuinely interested and concerned for my success and my restoration. This trip has been very special to me kasi ang symbolic niya eh. It's been symbolic of my bouncing back. And I think that's one of the greatest abilities that we can develop. The ability to bounce back. Unfortunately, that ability can only be developed if you encounter adversities, di ba? And hardships. Siguro if I can share some things that help me bounce back, ito yun. It will never be the perfect time. Because if you wait for the perfect timing, opportunity, if you wait for the perfect people, the perfect team, the perfect perfect weather, it's not going to happen. Madedelay lang na madedelay yung bouncing back mo and you'll find yourself just being stuck in where you are. Siguro isang naging challenge ko rin sa akin yun eh. Kung paano ba hakbangan kahit hindi perfect, kahit hindi planchadong-planchado lahat ng nasa paligid. Yun yung step and walking by faith, di ba? Hakbangan mo, tapos sa Lord na yung susunod mo. It will never be the perfect time but God will always be with us.
But 15, 16, 17 years old, what can the Lord do to a 15 year old? Ano kaya ang gawin ng Panginoon sa pamagitan ng 16 years old? My defense. My defense. Second thing is that it's never too late. I struggle with that too, na parang, ah, ang tagal na, 3 years na, ang dami na nangyari, ang dami na nag ng mga tao, ang dami na naiba, ang dami na nawala, ang dami na dyan. Parang, ah, sobra na, tapos ang tagal. It's never too late. Sobrang halaga. Remember that you've still got it. Sometimes I felt like nagbibiro pa ako if I would hold the mic. Sabi ko, pasensya na po, hindi na sanay. Kasi puro syringe lang yung hawak ko. Hindi na sanay mag- It's true. Even going to the event, I was praying and I was telling God, Lord, I feel so rusty. Parang nangangalawang na ako, hindi ako sanay. But the nice thing is you've still got it. We still have it. We still have the anointing. We still have the gifting. God never takes away our gifts, di ba? I mean, he can if he wants to, but, but that's not his style. His gifts are there and, and he's making also opportunities for us to use them or to use them again, or to bounce back and use them again. So you still got it. Kaya mo pa yan, nasa pa yan. The Lord has still placed it. Lost things, He can help us regain. If there are things na parang feel natin, nasira na, He can rebuild. If may mga bagay na nawala sa atin, whether time, opportunity, I don't know what else, He can restore. That's our God. And I pray that this video has helped you be encouraged to bounce back, to get back again, and to finish the mission. Thanks for joining me for our special kasi kasama din kayo. I hope that you'll pray with me also and magpalakasan tayo. Please like and also comment below and subscribe if you haven't. Hope to see you guys again. Thanks for the day.